Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 Did You Know episode. And today, did you know that there are some really awesome, rare and unique pistols that you can get by killing various gunslingers throughout the world? This actually comes from one of the coolest side missions in the game. And I just wanted to let you guys know because if you're like me, you maybe saw this one and like, eh, okay, maybe one day I'll get to it. But if you actually do it like right away, then you get to keep these really awesome looking pistols and unique pistols, obviously throughout the entire game. So this may be one of the side quests you do as soon as possible. So this is the legendary gunslingers side quest. And unfortunately, I don't have gameplay of me like sort of starting the quest, but it's relatively easy. You just go to Valentine and the second saloon. You'll see this pretty big question mark on your mini map. If you haven't started it, Go talk to the guy in there. He'll give you four pictures. Now, what I did was not right because I never actually looked at those pictures. I was just expecting maybe like it to show up my map and it never did. Well, you actually have to view the pictures in order for these places to pop up on the map. And not only do you have to view the picture, you have to flip the card to the back to actually get the location. So that's how you basically start this. And then you can go to any location you want, and there's four of them in total, at least to start this mission. You have Flacco Hernandez, which unfortunately is way up in the Grizzlies, so make sure you pack some cold gear. You take him out, and you actually get his legendary revolver. It's called Flacco's Revolver. This one is all right looking. It's not the coolest, that's for sure. But in addition to it, you can find a cigarette card and the poisonous trail treasure map in his cabin. So if you want to do the treasure map to get some gold, you can grab that while you're up here. But Flacco's revolver is the first that you can grab. Next, we're going to head or head over to Flat Iron Lake and you'll find Emmett Granger. Now, Emmett Granger, he is unfortunately going to make you shovel some pig crap, but it is worth it in the end because once you do all that, then he is going to try and draw his knife on you. And like they say, don't bring a knife to a gunfight because you can easily kill him. And then you can pick up Granger's pistol. And this is another revolver that does look pretty cool. It's got some cool engravings on it. In my opinion, one of the cooler pistols comes next with Billy Midnight. You're going to head down to the road train station and talk to the guy there. He'll tell you you'll eventually meet him. You have to chase him down a little bit. But once you eventually chase him down and shoot him, you're going to get Midnight's pistol. And this is actually the Mauser pistol, and it's all gold. This one is awesome looking. If you're a fan of the Mauser pistol, the semi-automatic pistol, then you're going to love this one. Do note, though, Billy Midnight actually has a pretty quick trigger. So make sure you are faster than him. The fourth one, unfortunately, doesn't give you a gun, but it's Black Bell in the Blue Water Marsh. You're actually going to have to do some little mission for her where you have to take down a bunch of bounty hunters but it's kind of a cool little story once you get through all four of those guys though then you're gonna go all the way back to valentine to talk to the original guy but he's not there so you have to do some searching to find him you had to go down to saint denis then you have to go after you talk to him you have to go up to annasburg talk to the sheriff there and then finally, we're going to head on to the fifth and final gunslinger. And this is, I think, where you get probably the coolest pistol. And it's got a cool Easter egg on it, too. But you're going to face off this guy, kill him. I shot him in the toe, and apparently that killed him. And then you're going to take his pistol. This one is called Callaway's Revolver. And it has probably the coolest engravings on it. It actually says Kenneth Kinem Edit. Probably said, saying that wrong. But if I remember correctly, I believe that's a little Easter egg to Bully because that's what it was called in Europe or something when it released a couple years ago. So you get from this quest, this little side quest, you get four really cool and super unique pistols that you can't find anywhere else. And do note, if you don't pick them up, if you accidentally forgot to pick one up, you can't go back and get it later. So it's a one-time only sort of thing. And I think a lot of people may not know about this side quest. Like I said, it's definitely one of the cooler ones because you get some really nice stuff from it. So hopefully you take advantage of this quest. Hopefully 
you guys go out and use these pistols. I'm sure you've made your own, but like I said, that last one is probably one of the cooler ones. So you may want to add it to your rotation. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more Did You Knows every single Saturday. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.